Hey guys, my name is Erica. I'm from Holland, Michigan, and I'm currently a junior here at Central Michigan University. Join me in the next few minutes as a few friends and I show you around our campus. Behind me is Kelly Shorts Stadium, where the football team plays. Kelly Shorts is a great place to be on game day. I was in the color guard for two years, and I loved every minute of it. There's this, just this crazy energy on the in the football stadium during the football game time, and you can meet all the alumni here, come to tailgate, you can be in the student section. Being a part of Chippewa football is definitely one of the better experiences you'll have at CMU. Here we are at the Student Activity Center, also known as the SAC. The Student Activity Center is a great place for students because it's entirely free. You can swim, you can work out, you can run on the treadmill, you can play racquetball, you can go in the hot tub. It's a really great thing for students to use. And even more than that, they offer classes here. You could take a class for credit, such as Turbo Fire Kickboxing, which is what I took, or you could take a uh, class for fun, which is more like a club. Also in the SAC are our intramural sports. CMU has a great variety of teams that you can play on if you want to do basketball, if you want to do soccer, anything you can think of, we've got it here. This is the CMU Event Center. It's one of our more state-of-the-art buildings on campus and it's home to commencement, sporting events, concerts, speakers, powwows. Any cool event you might want to go to is going to be found here. One of the coolest things about CMU is that the sporting events are free for students football games, basketball games, anything you want to go to is going to be free. However, certain things like specialty events are going to have you know, tickets attached to them and those you're going to pick up at Ticket Central. Today I'm going to get the great opportunity to tell you about our residential halls, or our residence halls. Um, you may know them as dorms, but here we call them residence halls because they truly are somewhere that you get to live. So right now I'm in the Cary Hall study room and the Cary Hall is a part of the towers. The Towers is one of the four areas of campus that we have here at Central Michigan University. We have the Towers, as I said before, we have South, we have North, and we have East. The Towers is like a bustling city. We have seven buildings connected, so you really get to feel the energy of it. There's a lot of people and a lot of faces that you can see every day. All of our different residence halls has a different feel and a different vibe, and you'll really find the one that matches you when you register. There are a ton of things that the Towers can offer. There's a ton of things that the whole campus can offer. I hope to see you soon. Here at Central Michigan University, we have 18 great dining locations here on campus. Right now I'm in Fresh Food Company, one of the four residential restaurants with all you care to eat meals. We have many great options, including healthier or indulgent foods. Some of the great stations we have are International Grill, which has Mongolian barbecue, or you could go for a all you could eat salad or soup bar. If instead you're craving something late night or on the go, there's pretty much something in a five minute walking distance from where you are on campus. There are sea stores, coffee shops, food courts, and even some national brands like Starbucks, Subway, and Papa John's. So no matter where you're dining on campus, you can use your flex dollars, meal plan, cash, or credit. There's something for everyone, so come eat with us. Now that we've shown you a few places to go outside of the classroom, here are a few places that you'll need to know for your studies. We're here in ANSPA's newly renovated study room. ANSPA is actually one of the most used buildings here on campus. It is known that 25,000 students walk through its halls each week. Now there is one thing you do have to know about ANSPA. If you don't want people to know that you're new to campus, make sure you say it right. Behind me is Warner Hall. It's one of the, the oldest buildings on campus. Here at CMU, there's a, there's a nice mix of old and new, and this is one of our older buildings. It's phenomenal to see that CMU, uh, CMU appreciates tradition. Now this is one of my favorite places on campus. Welcome to Park Library. What makes Park Library so awesome is that we have 33 miles of movable shelves inside. I usually come to the library to hang out with my friends, relax, and work on group projects. Throughout my time here at Central, we've progressively strived to become a more green campus. We're standing here in the EHS building today where if you look around us, you can tell that the building was made for sustainable purposes. For example, we have windows that bring in natural light, so when you're stuck in that classroom, you can look outside, enjoy the sunlight. If you walk into our French auditorium and notice that there's bamboo everywhere, and the floors are actually made with special tiles so that we have everything kept in mind for a green community. CMU is dedicated to being a leader in the sciences. We're currently in the process of building a brand new state-of-the-art science building right here on CMU's campus. 
The brand new $95 million facility will provide state-of-the-art research and learning facilities that will house laboratories and brand new equipment essential for bioscience programs. Here at the College of Medicine, we are training students to be high-quality physicians. From family medicine to psychiatry, CMED trains in a variety of areas. If you're looking to study medicine, CMED is the place to be. Now we're in the Bobby Center. Students also call it the UC. CMU is very up to date. We have modern spaces for students to feel comfortable and, and relaxed so that they can do, do their best without feeling stressed or feeling um, overwhelmed. We have a, a nice open space for students to come and get their work done, work in groups, and, and really thrive in the student interaction. There's a, an opportunity to study as well as get, get coffee from Starbucks, grab a bite to eat at Quiznos, and, and maybe go downstairs into the Down Under food court. Also in the Bobby Center you have the CMU Bookstore. It's a, it's a place where you can come and get t-shirts, sweatshirts, and, and once you graduate you can come back and get uh, alumni apparel. Uh, also downstairs you have the, the space where students get their books and information about classes. Thanks for joining us on today's tour, but don't forget that there's so many other places on Central's campus that you can visit, so make sure to come check them out for yourself. I hope to see you guys soon.